Hey all, it's uh, Dinosaur uh, doing Jersey Shore and now Season 3 Episode 4 on that more recap for you. Now, <laughs> this is the one, this is the traditional uh, show where they have redemption in the face of adversity but also hands on kind of a cliffhanger on that, but you can go ahead and understand this. Uh, namely, um, number one, it recaps over Snooky's drunkenness and Tom acting like a fool with Jenny on that. So, Snooky gets thrown into jail. <laughs> Tom's acting like a douche, and then we're in a situation where what are we going to do next? Well, then Jenny calls um, uh, Snooky's dad and explains what happened. And then while Jenny's on the phone, she gets a call by someone from the police department saying, uh, You can pick Snooky up now. On that, uh, it looks like she was processed and cited for public nuisance, which is. A little easier to get out of than uh, drunk and intoxicated in public. Public nuisance, that's a very light one. You do get fined, though, on that. But anyway, uh, they pick, go pick Snooky up, and everybody's happy, and the vibe is good on that. <laughs> and, uh, Snooky kind of jokes, I'm a G now. You can't mess with me. They're like, yeah, that's right. You serve jail time. You're a G. On that, so... <laughs> That was funny, because Ron served jail at the same place there before, but... Anyway, they go on to to look at the asp, uh, the whole situation, and Snooky is, like, eating food, going, um, what did I do? I don't remember. And they're like, well, you did this, you did this, and then I'll she's like, oh, yeah, that would do it, on that. And you, I said, did my dad know? I said, yeah, your dad knows. You better call him. It's like, do you think I should call my dad? He's like, not right now. And uh, she's like, I better call him. So she goes over and calls her dad, and her dad's like, pissed. And <laughs> Snooky, Snooky goes to, um, and with that thing that dad, uh, I'm sorry, I was an idiot, and all that. And dad goes off on her, rightfully so, because he cares about her. But he told her, I'll come and pick it up, then you can come move your stuff, and we're done. And that uh, you don't ever embarrass me like that again. He's like, I love you. He's like, I'm not mad at you, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> And there, and they get that little phrase. Why is it that's the most hurtful thing a parent can say to their kid when they're disappointed? Oh please, I, I disagree with that because I have had many of things said about me. I'm almost numb to most things you could call me on that. And it, it, why they say all oh, that hurts the most? And even uh, Steve-O from Jackass the movies talked about that. How I'm disappointed seems to hurt the most. And then you got this long track of rebuilding that uh, approval on that. But Steve-O shouldn't be too mad. Steve-O's making hell of money off the movies. He's probably making more money than his parents. Why should he care on that? Um, and Snooky, uh, I got news for you people. Those kids in that house are making a hell of a lot more money than they're coming off to be. They're coming off like they're working at some t-shirt shop. They're only doing a t-shirt shop because that's part of the show on that. Them acting like fools is not part of the show, but the reality is that all of them, including Mike and Sookie, get paid some big bucks to show up at clubs and stuff because they draw on people. Uh, it's all about sales and drawing people in. Professional wrestlers are under the same thing. With professional wrestlers, and yeah, I'm having a beer. On the professional wrestlers, on that, um, they uh, they rated how good their characters were on the amount they could draw. On that, they could put people to the seats. If you couldn't draw anyone worth a damn, then you were not going to be in the main event. You weren't going to be the top draw, the top guy. On that, if you had no personality, you couldn't put people in the seats. Pfft, who the hell are you? You you don't matter. On that, and and an example in this uh, would be, uh, well, I'll say uh, Hulk Hogan, where charisma and draw, he was very high. Actual skill as a wrestler, hell no, he was horrible. <laughs> There were other wrestlers who could do way better things than he could on that. And another example would be uh, uh, Ted DiBiase. Now, Ted DiBiase was a good guy with those technical skills. He wouldn't draw anything. But him being a bad guy and actually good uh, at what he was doing, not just a bad guy and a fat dude, I'm talking good on that, then um, he would draw people in. That's all it was about. So... Don't be fooled about this. They're working at the t-shirt shop. That's all part of the act on that, and something uh, to a point. On that. But anyway, Snooky uh, says, "Oh, I'm disappointed here," and she's getting concerned 
about this. So it's club time again. They all go to the club. This time they go to, I believe it's Bamboo on that. Um, or is it Karma? I can't quite remember. But it's one of the clubs. And Snooki is only having one drink and she's really controlling herself. Because she's very scared about being arrested and just acting like a fool again. So they go to the club. They have a great time. The vibe is good. Everything is back. They come back from the club. Uh, and... <laughs> The legendary Ronnie Double, Dean, which Ronnie actually knew who the Ronnie Double was. <laughs> so Dean is there, dancing around, and then by chance his girlfriend happens to be Sam as well. And, you know, all the guys are like, holy cow, this guy's like Ron's brother. And um, they brought him back to the house to introduce him to Ron, and they said, let's slip Dean in with Sammy and see if she notices. <laughs> You know, I'm thinking all this messed up stuff, but Ronnie and Sam were sleeping. So he probably, and, and Ronnie's like, oh, hey, Dean, what's up? <laughs> they, and he knew all the whole time uh, that, uh, the, that Dean existed. And he he basically said, like, and he pointed out, hey, he has a girlfriend, too. By chance, her name is Sam as well on that. But anyway, Dean hooks up with Dina on that, uh, up, on the, up in the hot tub, then down below. Okay, and when he's always saying, I don't really have a girlfriend. No, 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 I don't really have anyone. So he hooks up with Dina, uh, and then he leaves for the day. And then Sam, of all people, tells Dina he has a girlfriend. She's like, oh, really? Wow. And he's like, yeah. She's like, men are pigs, aren't they? And I'm like, eh, well, whatever. <laughs> and they kind of went up there. Dean, the Ronnie double, that was absolutely classic. He was so close. He wasn't dead on, but he could have been his brother. He was so close. On that, and they're like, yeah, you're doing the hand thing, and I hate that the freaking John Cena nonsense, but that's my story. On that, so anyway, um, they do the whole Dean thing, the hookup, okay, and they're going to the next club, which is Karma, and they're dancing away. And Polly has a good point. He says Miami's full of tourists, and and you know, like there's a great mix there. But if you go to New Jersey, everyone here is party. Everybody knows everybody. They're here to party. In New Jersey, and we all know each other. We're all fist pumping. He's like, it was just more fun. It was home to me. On that, and he's like, okay, okay, that sounds cool. And that's a good, that's a very good point on that. And with that, I have a little notes, but I'm staying away from them. On that, so they go to the club. They're partying away. On that, and and then Ronnie. Um, oh well, it's not Ronnie, but uh, who is it? It's Jenny. Jenny and. Dina are have a kind of a double date. Jenny was going to go out with Roger with another guy for uh, Dina on that because of um, some of the trouble she's having with Tom. And they actually had a good time. It was just friends thing, and they all went home and everything. Here, nothing really happened there on that, and uh, just it kind of worked out. Now, Jenny and Snooky uh, had a little girl talk up top, where Snooky is concerned that she has a problem. And she told Jenny, like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to drink anymore. She's like, you're just saying that. Go slow. He's like, you need love. You need to find a girl, a guy to hook up with. And kind of set it up there. Because then later, Snooky and Jenny all had, um, I believe, had to go to work. on that. And then who comes into work? Uh, Alex, or no, Roger. And... <laughs> This other guy on that, which Snooky's in love with, this Irish guy on that, uh, which I believe his name was Nick, I think. Let me see. Yes, Nick on that. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm so in love with him. He's so beautiful. He's so cute. You know, and Nick, and, and everything is going great with Snooky on that because she's so happy and Jenny's so happy and they... They all had a great time, and even but, but they left the work to go on break to see the two. And the boss comes out, it's like, uh, you know, you guys got a job to do. And I'm like, okay, thank you for yelling. And the other guys were cool about it. I said, all right, you got to go back to work. Sorry, sorry, man. On that, and uh, they went back to work, and then they went, um all went out, and had a great time here. But um, then um, Jenny decides to call Tom. 
because she's had it with him and she calls him and says you know basically it's over and then and not exactly that way but says you know i'm done i'm done you've always been terrorizing this here here i'm done and everyone's like yay but then the next a few hours later the next morning she says i gotta get my dogs i don't trust this guy i don't trust him whatsoever so they drive up to where jenny leaves and uh sees sees at a house and uh he took the key but not the third key that jenny didn't tell him on that and they find that key get into the house and then they find the dogs are okay but then uh snokey points out to jenny that her bed was taken okay and she's like okay well if that's all he took pfft, oh well but then she finds out uh tom took her graduation high school graduation watch and it took uh, her hard drive and showed a screen on her computer with a PayPal account showing all of her money gone into an account with his. Now, this is the dumbest thing you can ever do on that. Unless it was a joint account, if it was a single account and you were down in one location and you have evidence, namely the TV show, that you were elsewhere and someone logged on and did it, even if it's in a case where um, that they may have had the username and password on that, and if it's a single account, that can be argued that you were not there at a computer that could have possibly done that, and they can link it to the other account under Tom's name and uh, done them in there. And and the guy leaves a calling card there. I took all your money. Ha ha. Well, yeah. Well, ha ha. When you see the boys in blue on that, um, they're in banking. If it's joint account, there's nothing we can do. If it's um, if it's a single account and you have documented evidence that you were elsewhere and you did not have access to a computer and you did not do this, then they can bring them up on charges. And, and not just any charges, some pretty serious ones. Um, uh, they can even bring in uh, federal wiretapping and wire fraud on that, which you're looking at some serious jail time. Now, granted, they will not take it to that level because it's a domestic dispute. And uh, that they'll just say, give them the money back. If this really actually got to a prosecutor, they'll just say, give them the money back, and everyone's happy. That's what it would happen as. Because there's no point, no, well, actually, there's no point sending anybody to jail over a breakup. None. Unless someone really gets hurt. But on that, it, there's a recourse here. I know she's upset. There's recourse. But anyway, we're going to see what happens in the next episode. Uh, but until then, um, down us all for now out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.